All right, what I'm doing is I've lost my, I shut my power off on my CNC while it was in the middle of the process of making a board. And what I want to do is locate a point on that board as a reference so I can feed that information into the CNC because we have a soft home on the sh uh, shark, the shark. So what I did is I found this point right here, which is a circle. I'll go in now so maybe you can see it. See that circle? What I did, I highlighted that first and then opened up draw a circle. And when you do that, it exposes this box. And that actually gives you the X and Y coordinates. So I wrote those down, making sure that I know what circle I'm looking at. And now I'll go out and move the X and Y and Z into that hole. And then I'll show you what I do. All right, this is the project I'm trying to save. Basically what happened, I was machining a bunch of pegs and jokers boards. I did the laser burning first, as you can see. So I've got this 16 boards lasered in place. Then I lost power. I was in the middle of drilling the holes and you can see it stopped out in here someplace. Um, so what I did is I showed you earlier, I went back to my Vetrix layout and I identified the X and Y values for this hole. And then I moved my cutting bit into that hole. And these are the values that I set up zero zero over in the corner and so these are the values that I get but what happens is if you look I'm off by a little bit but I'm in the hole so what I'll do is I'll convert those numbers to the and when you see it's up and running it finds the holes that are in there. And you see because it's pretty close to it. It's off by maybe a thousand, and it's only equal to maybe half a thousand. So you can see what it's doing is it's still from the edge, I think, on the y axis. It's still a little bit, but it's not enough to put it. So it's drilling all the holes that were there. I can see it's all done. I saved the project and I cut out the boards, drilled the boards, cut out the boards, and uh, I have tabs in here that are small. If you put enough force on them, you can pop them right out. And all done. Pegs and Joker boards, 16 of them. So I saved the material and saved the laser pattern and all that stuff that I did before. So it finished up and cut them out. They're near perfect, but that's the only thing I ever make is near perfect. I don't make anything quite perfect. So, leave a good load to do that. So there you go. All done.